Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to be part of the launching of the book. Thank you. Islamabad, again some of the reviews said that Islamabad is a sleepy city and his book has hit that sleepy city with a literary phenomenon called Jameel Ahmad. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving you a big hand. So, we have a reason to meet and we have a book to celebrate. It's a living book and I must say that we are thankful to the uh, Fast Gallery for providing the venue and also for the cover photo of the writer. Cover illustration is by R.C. Parakash. And the author photograph by Fawzan Minella, our friend, is a great picture I must say. That we bring to the Yanwar and Shah, and cover, cover design by Dina Sami. And this has been published by Penguin Books India. And it's already hit the stalls. And this evening we also have books here because we uh, can get a signature of the author. So without much ado, let me first of all ask. Permission. I ask of you to say a few words about the book. Please. Uh, it's, it's a privilege to be here and speaking about this book. Uh, I started reading it, although I knew that uh, sometimes while talking about a book, it is not a good idea to read it. Someone said it prejudices the mind so. I did go through it and uh, all of you know that the first quality of any book, a novel, a history book, a biography, is that it should be readable, it should be riveting, it should hold your attention and you should not be plowing through it. I think this quality, this book has to an eminent degree. Uh, I picked it up, I started going through it, and I could not put it down. This is a very riveting tale. It's a very engaging story. Thank you very much, and it's been a privilege, and thank you very much. And I think the best, uh, the best thing about the book, it should be a record. It should be and it is not one of those things you speak about them. I, uh, I think I'm a veteran of book openings, and I know that you speak about books, and then they're put away to one side. But this is one of the you. If you just make the mistake of opening the first page, you won't be able to put it down until you reach the venue. Thank you. When I was reading this book, you know, that, that came to my mind. Hotere Bayaba ki Hava. Tujko Gavara is dasht se behter hai na dilli na bukhara jis samt mein chahe sifate sehle rawan chal wadi ye hamari hai ye sehra bhi hamara gairat hai badi cheez jahan e tago daw mein pehnati hai darwesh ko taaj e sare dara ikhlas e amal mang nigayan e kohan se niha sorry اخلاص عمل مانگ نیا گانے کوہن سے شاہاں چیا جب گرنہ نوازند گدارا I congratulate you once again Jameel صاحب and wish to express my gratitude for Fawzia Fawzia Minallah for inviting me to speak on this occasion I look forward to the Urdu and Pashto translations of this work as well because it is very important that this kind of fiction appears in the languages which are spoken here and particularly Urdu and Pashto because Urdu would take it you know uh, to larger audiences and Pashto because you know people would love to read this book and thank you also Balochi yes of course and any you know other national languages of Pakistan but primarily Urdu and Pashto because this is what most of the book is about and what is what is actually uh, what it um, tells us about um, thank you very much and happy reading ladies and gentlemen thank you, thank you very much uh, Haris Khaliq Indeed, you know, here's a book, it is touching without getting too caught up in the sentiment. 
he uses you know the, the harsh doses of tribal life in such a clear and a haunting manner that you keep thinking about it after you have put the book down that is what is the beauty of this kind of writing you know that talks about the tribal culture the trials and tribulation the ups and downs what bedevils you know the children and the women and the mothers and the visitors and whoever goes and takes a peep at that life so here we have a great writer who spent meritorious years of long civil service in the wild terrain and came back on a very graceful exit note and in a dignified manner with these words now i will call upon ghazala minalla to express a few words ladies and gentlemen a lot of what i wanted to say has already been said by ayaz and by haris and something that haris said that it appears at times that tears are flowing out of the pen in my case tears were flowing out of my eyes believe me not on one occasion but on several occasions it's a book which touched my heart and i even after reading a couple of chapters i actually sent a message to mr jamil and told him that what have you done i mean you've made me cry this as i have not read a book in ages which has done this to me and this book was actually written more than 40 years ago and it was written at the time that mr jamil was serving in these areas and thanks to his wife elga amar and brother javed saab they are the ones who pushed him into publishing it getting it published etc etc so i salute mr jamil for writing a book which is not only a it not only tells us about the author who served in these areas he felt for the people he is not critical he is not judgmental He is just telling us about the harsh realities of life in these areas. It is the harsh realities which, which uh, carve out or carve out the the way of life. It's what carves out. It's what it's what molds the personalities of the people in that area. It's what molds the customs and traditions of that area. So it's a narrative. It's not judgmental, but you can feel the passion. the compassion rather that he has for the people in these areas where he served thank you thank you, thank you very much dadala i have now the privilege to invite jamil ahmed we want to hear a few words from you we want to hear from you about your inspiration to write this book so ladies and gentlemen let's give a big hand to jamil ahmed the the uh, basic thing i wanted to say was that you know my effort whatever it was was completed in space of 2 or 3 years but uh, so it would would it have you know it would have lain uh, probably it would have been a lost manuscript because my wife had kept it you know she had acted as the curator and you know kept it very safe the document and it was pushed, you know pulled it out and my brother wanted to see it if it weren't for three people my brother this Pfizer and the editor in London the person in London who looked at it it was a total accident that all these three ha- things happened to take place and take place during time when some some odd way world attention was being focused on this area for wrong reasons anyway but help what i want to say is that when you read the book each one of you actually will need to read it through his or her lens but please try to understand that each one of us has this tribal gene embedded sometimes deep sometimes on the surface in the mind it's not yet lost each one of us has it so please try to understand that when you are reading this book Each one of you should read it as a tribe, or a tribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jamil Ahmed. And I must end by saying that after reading this book, one really wants to know more about the tribal society and understand it more. And I must say that umr bhar ham kitabo mein rahe, dusron ki zindagi achhi lagi. Thank you very much, and join us for a cup of tea now. And the book is also there, and the author is also with us to sign the any copies for any friends who want to have that.